Hi friends. Recently, I got an opportunity to visit an organic farm on Hyderabad Highway. This farm belongs to my cousin who turned from software industry to organic farming during lockdown. In this video, I'll walk you through the farm and cover interesting details about organic farming. This part of the farm is planted with seedless watermelon saplings in black soil. The soil bed is covered with mulching paper as it helps in retaining moisture and nutrient status of the soil. It also controls erosion due to rainfall and suppresses the growth of weeds. Although sowing seeds is more economical, farmers prefer to plant saplings as all seeds might not mature and develop into saplings. Let's go further to see the fully grown plants. Here you can see tomato plants stringed up that trains them to grow vertically. Doing so allows more plants to fit in the limited space. Beside tomato plants is the leafy vegetable section. Spinach is lined up here. Next to it is mint. There are also coriander and malabar spinach plants in this farm. Fish are also raised organically here. At present, this pond contains around 300 fishes. A container of bran filled with feed is left in the pond. Fish can take their feed through small openings in this container. Approximately an acre of this farm contains creepers. This creeper here has just started producing bitter gourd. Bitter gourd is planted in place of rich gourd as a practice of crop rotation. So all the dried out leaves that you are seeing here belong to rich gourd. In this farm, creeper nets are arranged vertically as opposed to horizontal roof style nets. Here you can see traps attached to the creeper nets. Flies or insects that are harmful to the creepers are trapped into them. Solar insect trap powered by sunlight during daytime emits ultraviolet light at night. Ultraviolet light is another way of attracting insects which fall into the chemical in the tray. The remaining part of this farm is planted with ivy guard. Another significant feature of this farm is the poly house. It is nothing but a house made out of translucent material like glass. Poly house is cheaper than greenhouse technology and is long lasting. Currently, this poly house contains tomato, red, yellow and green capsicum plants. These plastic bags here contain cocoa peat, which provides essential nutrients for the growth of capsicum. The sheets on the pole are made up of sticky material that traps mosquitoes or other insects. You can see lizards that got trapped. Roof is designed in such a way that it would allow limited sunlight but not rain. The hanging sprinklers release water needed for the growth of plants. This kind of setup allows plants to grow 365 days a year and produce vegetables irrespective of the weather conditions. In this picture, you can clearly see the difference between tomato plants grown outside and in the poly house. The future owner of this farm is showing us the green chili plants. She recited a Telugu poem adorably in our last video. Do check it out.
Fields are a great place to stay and enjoy the nature. The farm owners bought a customized container house to live close to the farm. A three-room container costs around 8 lakhs. Let's take a look inside. It seems very convenient for a small family. Living room is spacious enough and the bedroom comes with an attached washroom. Who wouldn't want to enjoy such a beautiful sunset in the middle of fields? If you two dream like us, do let us know and we can arrange a trip and a stay here. Thank you very much for watching. For more such interesting videos, please do like, share and subscribe to Bird of Passage.